All right, hey guys, remember about CCG back in the video. In this video, I'm going over the first look of the structure deck, Pulse of the King. And you can see this is basically Jack Atlas support uh, through Scarlet, Red Dragon, Archfiend. And we can see in the box art that there is a new uh, Red Dragon, Archfiend, and he is right here. So here we have Scar, Red Dragon, Archfiend. It's a Dark Dragon Synchro Effect monster. It requires one tuner or one non-tuner Dark Monsters. And then this card's name becomes Red Dragon Archfiend while face up on the field or in the graveyard. That can be relevant if there's an effect that requires specifically Red Dragon Archfiend. And if this card is sent from the main, uh, from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can special summon one Red Dragon Archfiend from your extra deck. This is treated as a Synchro Summon. Then if this card was sent to the graveyard as Synchro Material for a Dark Dragon Synchro Monster, you can destroy all opponent's uh, attack position monsters. So if somebody, if you happen to like link this away or if your opponent gets rid of it or whatever you decide to do with it, you're able to special summon a Red Dragon Archfiend for free from your extra deck. So that's pretty cool. Just being able to get a free card out of using this. And then if you happen to use this, it's also treated as a Synchro Summon from there. So that's that's even better. But if you happen to use this card as Synchro Material for a Dark Dragon Synchro Monster, you can destroy all the attack position monsters your opponent controls. So this is a good way of just clearing out the board and Synchro Climbing basically. Uh, by going up the levels and using your resonators to go up so that's pretty cool looks like a pretty cool dragon arch fiend here and then here we have a new resonator so this is soul resonator it's a fire fiend tuner level three and uh, if this card is normal or special summon you can add one level four or lower fiend monster from your deck to your hand except this card also you cannot special summon monsters from the for the extra deck for the rest of the turn except dark synchro monsters so you get locked into the dark synchros but that's fine uh, being able to search something out like this is really nice. That means you can go into your whole resonator uh, engine just by doing by special summoning this card out or normal summoning it out. So it's a great just search here. Yeah, it's a pretty cool way of just searching something out. And if a card you control would uh, would be destroyed by by card effect, while you control Red Dragon Archfiend or a Synchro Monster that mentions it, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So that's a great way of just protecting all your Red Dragon Archfiends. Um, if a card you control would be destroyed by card effect, well, you control Red Dragon Archfiend or a Synchro Monster Dimension. Yeah, so any card that even mentions the word Red Dragon Archfiend as well, it'll be protected from this. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a great card. Get this out. Search uh, a level 4 Lore Fiend Monster from your deck to your hand. And then from there, you know, after if they try to destroy something with a card effect, then you can use this to protect. So this card gives you a good amount of value. And then here we have Bone Archfiend. So Bone Archfiend is a Dark Fiend Effect Monster, and this is actually going to be searchable using this card using the Soul Resonator. And then uh, Bone Arch Vein, let's see. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can send one other card from your hand or field to the grave. Special on this card. Also, you cannot special on monsters from the rest of the turn, except Dark Dra Dragon Synchro Monsters. Of course, you're gonna be locked into it. But it's a great way of just uh, special summoning this, out, this card out really easily by just sending a card from your hand or field to the grave. And then you can target one face up monster you control, send one Fiend Tuner from your hand or deck to the grave, and if you do increase the Increase or decrease that target's level by one. So being able to pitch something from the deck to the grave. I'm sure there's other fiend tuners that actually work really well with this. I haven't played too much with uh, Red Dragon Archfiend, but I'm sure some of the resonators are able to use uh, those effects from the grave. And we know just from this one that it's going to be able to do that. And it'll make it easier for you to do some level modulation in order to synchro whatever you're trying to synchro into. Obviously, it's going to probably be a Scarlight Dragon or Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend or just any Red Dragon Archfiend. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this archetype I'm, uh, or what this uh, new support. I'm looking forward to seeing new cards because I've always been intrigued with this archetype i just never got the chance to really build it i hope it gets a really strong set of uh, support here through the structure deck but i hope you guys look forward to this and make sure to like comment subscribe and all that and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching